Tuscans love their beans so much that the folks living in the outskirts are sometimes referred to as manja fajul, or bean eaters. Now it's hard to beat their classic Tuscan dish of cannellini beans simmered with herbs and garlic, and then it's drizzled with olive oil. But Becky is here to show us a version that's a lot more substantial. That's right, I'm gonna be adding shrimp to the beans and it's gonna turn it into a complete meal. So we're starting with shrimp, of course. I have a pound here of large shrimp. That means there's 26 to 30 in a pound. And I'm going to just start by peeling the last couple here. And we're gonna be saving these shrimp shells to make a quick shrimp stock. This is such a great idea. There's a lot of flavor in those shrimp shells. Packed with flavor. Yeah, we're gonna use them all. That's right. So I took the peel off and now we're just gonna get the vein out. So to do that, I'm just gonna use a little paring knife here. Cut right down the back of that shrimp. There we go. All right, so I'm going to brine the shrimp now just for 15 minutes with some salt and sugar. I have a quart of cold water here, adding two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of salt. I'll just whisk that up. And this will also help the shrimp stay moist during cooking. So we'll put those in there. All right, so we'll let these guys take a little bath for about 15 minutes. <laughs> and while they do that, we'll start our quick shrimp stock. All right. I have a tablespoon of oil in this skillet here. We're just gonna get some medium heat. Let that heat up for a minute. I think our oil's hot now. Let's add the shells. Now, like we were saying earlier, these shells are packed with all these savory compounds that we associate with shrimp flavor. Browning will accentuate that nice flavor that we're after. These shells have been going for about five minutes. You see they turned a nice pink color for us. Very toasty aroma. <laughs> so now we'll add water to make our stock. I'm just gonna pull it off the heat because it's really gonna bubble up quite a bit here. Ooh. Ooh. Shrimp facial. <laughs> That's right. Back on the heat. And we're just gonna let this simmer for about five minutes and then we'll have a great tasting shrimp stock. So it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and drain our shrimp shells here. And we should have about a quarter cup of shrimp stock. So that's just a little bit of liquid, but oh my, is it packed with flavor. Tons of flavor, really concentrated. And easy to do. So let's get going and build our base for the stew. Sounds good. So we're gonna use the same skillet. I'll just give it a little clean up here. I'm gonna give it some medium low heat. I have two tablespoons of olive oil heating up in the skillet and then we'll get going on our stew. I think our oil is hot, starting to give us a nice little shimmer. You can smell it, yes. Yes, you can smell it, right? Mm -hmm. So here's one onion. We're just gonna be using lots of classic Italian flavors here. Four garlic cloves, sliced up. That's nice you didn't mince them because if you'd add four minced garlic cloves, it would really take over the dish. That's right, the larger slices give you a little bit of a more mellow flavor. Mm -hmm. And then I have two anchovies minced up. And they're not gonna add an overt fishiness, they're just gonna add a nice, subtle, savory, umami kind of flavor. Next I have a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, just for a tiny bit of kick. A quarter teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Just let this cook for about five minutes. We want the onions to get nice and soft. All right. Well, Becky brought up the fact that anchovies do not add a lot of fishiness to our dish, and that's true. But what they do add is meaty, savory flavor, and that's because anchovies are packed with something called glutamates. Those are flavor compounds that really trick the tongue into thinking that things are more meaty than they actually are. But whatever type that you buy, you wanna make sure that you buy anchovies that are packed in olive oil. So it's starting to smell really good in here. <laughs> so just, good. Just five minutes, right? Yep. So our onions are nice and soft. I'm adding a can of diced tomatoes. Now, a lot of recipes call for fresh tomatoes, but we wanted to make this a year-round recipe, so we're just going ahead with the canned. So now it's time for those beans we've been talking about. We're using canned beans. This is a recipe we want to come together in about 30 minutes. And believe it or not, we actually prefer canned cannellini beans in many cases mm -hmm. over dried beans. I have one can that's been drained, nice and creamy, the cannellini beans. And I'm gonna use the canning liquid from the second can because it adds a nice creaminess to the stew, adds a, a lot of body. There's nothing bad about that liquid. Nope. And then the last thing I'm adding is our shrimp stock. Okay, I was wondering when that was gonna go in. There it goes, there goes all the flavor. Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll bring this up to a simmer. We'll let this cook for about 15 minutes just to give the flavors a chance to come together. Sounds great. And then it'll be time to add the shrimp. So it's been about 15 minutes. You can see our stew has really nice body from mm -hmm. that canning liquid and mm. We haven't even put the shrimp in there yet and it looks so good. I know, lots of nice color from the tomatoes. Yes. So here's the shrimp, they're out of the brine. I just put them on some paper towels because we don't want that salty liquid to get into our dish. We just want it to be in the shrimp. So we'll add our shrimpies here. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low. 
Now, we're not searing the shrimp. We're not going to get any color on them. We're just yep. going to cook them gently. A nice, gentle poach. That's right. So these will take five to seven minutes to cook. We'll know they're done when they're opaque. Let's get them all settled in there. <laughs> oh, that looks so good already. <laughs> Yummy. OK. Put a lid on it, and in five to seven minutes, we'll be done. Well, we're only poaching our shrimp for five minutes. And while you might think that's because we don't want them to turn tough, it's also about preserving flavor. Some of the shrimp's flavor comes from volatile aromatic compounds found in both the meat and shells. And these compounds have low boiling points. The longer the shrimp cooks, the more of these compounds float away into the air, and the shrimp becomes a lot less flavorful. So rule of thumb, to maximize shrimp flavor, minimize the cooking time. Been five minutes. Let's take a peek no, here. Oh, yes. Ooh. Let's take a peek, shall we? That looks great. You can see the shrimp are nice and pink. They're opaque. That's how we know they're done. Oh. <laughs> Just the aromas in here are amazing. Yeah, it smells like Tuscany. It does. Right? Let's just add some finishing touches. Here's a quarter cup of basil. And I also have a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. That'll add just a little mm. bit of tartness. And then I have some lemon zest, too, a half a teaspoon. And that'll add some nice floral notes, different than what the lemon juice offers. Sure. We often add something like lemon juice or vinegar to bean and lentil dishes. It really just brightens it up. That's right. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> It's incredible. <laughs> it has everything going for it, really. I'm just going to give it a little taste here, see if we need any more salt and pepper. I think it's perfect. It's so nice and brothy. Oh. Yeah, you see that bean liquid really cooks up into a nice little stew here for us. And I have a little bit of extra virgin olive oil here. Would you care for some bread? Of course. All right. You really need the bread with this to help soak up all those yummy juices. Uh, yes, definitely. It's, it's my second spoon. That's right. <laughs> Really taste the lemon and the basil and the garlic. Everything is right there. Mm -hmm. And you definitely taste the shrimp. The broth is so shrimpy. It's so full of flavor. Five minutes, really, of simmering time to make that shrimp stock, super easy. Yeah, so worth it. You really can taste mm. it. Really nice weeknight meal. This is so simple, but so complex in flavor. Yeah, mm. it's fresh and complex at the same time. Thank you so much for this, Becky. Introduced a whole new bean dish. My pleasure. So for our quick and very satisfying bean dish, brine peeled shrimp and use the shells to make a quick broth. Simmer aromatics, tomatoes, and beans, then quickly poach the shrimp right in the liquid. Finish with basil, lemon, and of course a little drizzle of olive oil. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, a hearty and super speedy Tuscan shrimp and beans. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>